Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. Or, oh shit, what was that? It was the motor. The motor did a boom. That, that doesn't sound good. But you, you know, whatever. Let's go to the moon. Should be fine. Let's go and land. How, how do you land on a moon? I mean, I guess you land the same way. You, we, we're not even gonna land, though, is the thing, I don't think. I'm gonna go to the Salana. I guess that's the name of this moon. Oh, hello. Lunar base in sight, Miss Jade. Yeah, I can see. That's a fucking big base. That is indeed a, a Doms-like base. I guess we, I guess everyone already There's knew. The transmitter. That's where we need to try to get in. All right. I guess everyone already knew that the Doms were just on the moon. They never had the firepower or any power at all to go against them. Because the fucking alpha sections were like, "Hey, dude, we're gonna take care of it. Don't you don't you worry about a thing." Anyway, welcome to the moon. We got a couple of things to do here. Most of all. Let's try and save some uh, safe page, huh? But before we do that, let's see if there's anything in here we can buy. I believe in here is the final PA1. Yes. Okay. There it is. The final PA1. And now we have all the health. And now that also means that we have basically every fucking collectible in the game besides one M disc that we can never even get at all. So, hey. Uh, if you want to check. Oh. I've located the probable positions of okay, the alpha it's fine. I don't really need it because it's very obvious where it is eventually. Um, I just wanted to show off the health because, as you can see, the health is not going to go any lower than that than that what than where that bar is right now. Well, let's go down. Thank you for the help, Double H. So as I've always appreciated it, and I suppose this is our way to get into the base. It's kind of funny how they have the same kind of uh, force field that all the people have over in Halos. It's kind of interesting, really. Dom's architecture. We're right in the heart of the base, Miss Jade. Yeah, that we are. And hopefully we can find a way to save Paige in here. Now, there is a very uh, easy way to do it, but this is kind of like a puzzle over here. The moon isn't that long. I've seen people like do it in like 40 minutes or so, the entire moon, that's including the final boss and the ending. So I don't know, this might be one episode, but just expect it to be two because I am not that great at playing video games. I, I am alright at playing video games, but I am not the speediest one. And since I am also commentating, that's also going to slow me down a little bit. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to point these lasers over to um, these crystals. Now what these, what that'll do is that'll open up the room and it'll only be opened up as long as that laser is on there. The reason you want to do this one first is because there's another one of these mirrors in here. And you need that mirror a little bit further on so do that one first before you do the other one because otherwise you're just gonna have to backtrack once you figure out oh wait I need another mirror. Whoops. I suck. Anyway this puzzle's not that tough. It's very easy and it doesn't really go much further than where it's at right now. It, it does eventually, you eventually get a big puzzle that is kind of challenging. It might be challenging, mo probably isn't, but, you know. Uh, it's gonna take a while, because I believe there's actually something to, to the right here. Yeah. It's like an opening to the right there that we need to open up, I think. Oh, we didn't need to open it up, but you know, extra money is always nice. For what? Wait a minute, no, I have no reason to collect this extra money. I have like 11,000... I have 11,000 credits. That's more than enough to buy like a million K-Bups. I don't need more money than I already have. That's kind of ridiculous to get more. Uh, okay, there we go. I believe that's actually already the final uh, room over here. Yeah, okay, so this room is a room where you basically cannot do it in the same way as you've been doing it before. This time you have to, uh, hit these. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I thought... Did I miss the sound? Oh, yeah, I, m I missed the sound cue. Well, alright. Um, time to turn this one around. Oh, fuck. I missed it again. Okay, there we go. And now it's time to turn this one around that way. Yep. I heard a very faint sound. Alright, let's go. The cloister. 
That's a Pokemon. But then with a with a Y, I think, instead of an I. Is that the name of the Pokemon? Cloister? It was, is it? Yeah. It's too quiet around here. Someone is watching us. I don't like you saying that, Double H. I don't appreciate that. They're all around us. They're waiting for us. Oh shit. There's Paige. Alright. Time to do this puzzle. Oh no. Oh no. 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 As soon as I get back to Paige, the fucking sound. God damn it. Can I fucking. I cannot end this, can I? I mean. Okay, you know, as long as I'm far away from it, that's fine. As, as long as I'm far away from it. Oh, Jesus. Or is it actually like deactivating and activating over and over again? Th that might be it as well, I, I don't know. Probably isn't though. I like the music that you get in here, but you can't really listen to it when this fucking thing is going on. Oh, great. It's still going on even now. Okay, well, moving that one won't really give us much of a result. So let's move this one first. Well, that went very fast. Maybe that'll already do it for this one. Yeah. Wow, you don't have to move this one much at all, do you, huh? Break it open, Double H. I hate the PlayStation 2 version. I want to get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Oh fuck me. This is uh <sighs> Well, it's a fucking sad thing. I didn't want that to happen. Yeah, I I know double H. Fuck me, man. God damn it. It's incredible. We just got an email from the chief. He's alive, Jade, alive. Screw up my settings, I hope. They're exactly as I found them. Stench and all. Hey, Jut. You were... Dead, I know. But you saved me. You're the one that brought me back to life. You're not the one you think you are, Jade. There's always been a prodigious energy hidden deep inside you. Now it's coming to the surface, and you're starting to understand it. Paige, the kids, they... Yes, I know. Kidnapped too. They've taken them to the Great Crypt. The only way to get there is by using the landing strip. We'll have to come back in the ship, but we can't do anything for them right now. There's too few of us. We need help in order to attack the lunar base in full force. The only way of obtaining the support of the Hillians 
is to follow Nino's plan, wrap up the report, and use the long-range transmitter to broadcast it. Okay, let's get a move on. Alright, sounds like a good fucking plan. We finally got Paige back, and now we have two party members. And we're gonna get this music all the time now, I think, so... Hope you like this music, because uh, you gotta cherish it while it lasts. Because it's not as fucking... it's gonna stay here for a good while. At least we don't have the fucking god-awful sound anymore. God, I, I wish that didn't happen, because that's like one of the most important fucking emotional cutscenes in the game, and now it's like, hey, use a fucking sound that ruins everything. Anyway, I'm gonna save here. Because um, the upcoming part can be pretty nasty at some points, and I'd rather not have the game get fucking crashing on me now. You know, I'd, I'd rather not have that happen. All right. Well. Yeah, that's true. All right. So this is the final sneaking part in the game, I believe. This this tiny little uh, little area. It's not much. Uh, all we basically have to do is get over there. That might take a little bit of looking, or look, looming around though, because as you can see, there's two men. Now, from over there. okay, well that wasn't smart. I'm going. That wasn't smart at all. Uh, that purple man is just going around about. I, I don't think there are more than those two alpha section peoples. I really don't think there's more than them. False alarm double. Double false alarm. Alright, well, you know what, I, I can I can take care of this guy on my own as well, so it, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, well, that was a bit dumb. Ow. At, at least they have the fucking energy tank thing still. Alright. That's that, I believe. You're dead. You know, that's this is way faster than fucking sneaking around, you know? I, sneaking around becomes kind of a... Not really a thing. I, this late in the game, I guess. Anyway, this is the big crypt. So, uh... Let's get on, uh... See if we can get into said crypt for a little bit. Should be able to find an uh, access point. Around here somewhere. Yeah, in here. Alright, that's good. Let's get in. The Great Crypt. Hello. This is a maze. A maze of cylinders. It's not that big though. Oh Jesus, I forgot the fucking speed. I forgot the speed that this thing goes at. Uh, I believe we have to take this one. Someone's talking to the Iris people. I, 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 can, I have an idea of who it is, but uh, let's go and check. It's not that much of a maze. Well, that's uh, that's an interesting chat you had there. Shawnee Doms. Well, I suppose that's a little bit of a food for thought, huh? What did what did he mean by that? Shawnee Doms. That's, that's silly. Shawnee is not part of the Doms. We fight, fight, nah. She has magical powers that brings pigs back to life, but nah, she doesn't have any fucking magical Dom's powers, nah. Alright. That, I, I, I guess he needs, I guess he needs Jade for something or another. 
Uh, don't expect any explanation, by the way, on whatever the fuck he was just talking about. Oh, hello, I don't want to fall down. Uh, yeah, don't expect any explanation of what he was talking about. It's, it's not ever gonna really get explained at all. Ever. Hello, can I? Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's get on going. Alright, well, since we already took care of them, we don't have to sneak around them again. So that's a good thing. And over there, I guess there's some more people, but I don't really want to deal with them either. Uh, all I really need to do now is go back and publish that story. So how about we go do that? And um, I think I already know how I'm going to do this. I think it's going to be two episodes. Well, at least they're still alive. You know, it's, it's, it's better than that that they were dead. That would have been fucking terrible. But at least they are alive. So let's go and uh, see if we can uh, find. Yeah, the transmitter. It's honestly kind of kind of interesting that this entire story is just based around motivating a certain like the motivating the people to go up against what I guess would be considered sort of the government. But it's not really because the mayor is, the governor is kind of Recovering against it everything as well. Fields. I spent 16 hours in that machine. I thought I'd never get out. I've been in it for three weeks. Yeah, and you were dead. Thanks for coming to my rescue. No problem, man. Gotta, gotta save all your men. Gotta rescue all your people. Never leave anyone behind, you know, it's uh, Carlson and Peters, something or another. Hey, wait a minute. That's the beluga. He managed to get the old girl up and running. Yeah, how the hell do you think I, I got here if not for the beluga? I hardly had anything to do. You must have spent a lot of time on her. Well, yeah. I, I mean, the only thing that was really needed was a fucking space thing. 10-4. Ten 10-4, ten there you go. Good old double H. It's kind of too bad that we, I mean, now that the whole emotional thing is kind of uh, over with Paige. I hope to God that now that he's back we're not going to get a fucking plethora of more like repeating sounds. It's like a, it's like a fucking hell, man. It's kind of, I don't understand why, why it keeps happening. Alright, let's go and hit that. As you can see, that takes a little bit of time before it actually moves so what you want to do because you can't have anyone hit it so you have to shoot it and then quickly climb up on it before anything uh, you know before it goes because otherwise you can't really do anything with it but oh well time to do some crank gameplays and there we go one little beep and we're done come here boys we gotta push all the buttons Okay. Let's go. They should lead us right to the transmitter. Oh, good. Yeah, hurry in. The oh, good. This fucking the rat was killed. Sixty millimeter. What do you mean a calimeter? What you mean sixty millimeter of what? It's a laser gun. How can you have sixty millimeters of laser? <laughs> How do you do that? Isn't laser just a fucking... It's just a laser... Well, I guess you can make it as big as you want. Oh, well. Time to tip the scales. And once again have to fucking scan a barcode. Really? Again? You have control of the long-range transmitter? That's incredible! I work as fast as I can. Hang in there. Yeah, you gotta work so fast that I wanna get it right now. Now. Ah, close enough. Quickly. K8 H5. K8 H5. Hopefully I don't fucking forget it this time we're turning around. K8 H5. I swear to god if I fucking turn it around again. I am going to piss. Okay, good. It's actually the correct code. Transmitter alignment. Okay, enter data. It's 
up to you now, Jade. Okay. Data not recognized. Protected system. Blocking. Ten. They're blocking the controls. Nine. Eight. No problem, Oye. I take care of that. Six. Amigos, Segundo el Magnifico is going to show you who is the best. Two. One. System blocked. Nice job, Magnifico. More like Secundo El Major Screw-Up, King of the Cretans, Pope of Silencio, the Silencio, my little piglet. Look. Opening system data. Hello, General Secundo. At your service. I have una amiga who would like to broadcast a little report. Set up an alignment on 21.3, por favor, mia bella. Yes, sir, General. Data loaded. Broadcasting. from the Iris Network, our enemy, the Doms, have broken through our protective borders and infiltrated your city. Enough is enough. Amigos, senores, senoras, y of course, senoritas, keep open your eyes, sirs, y tutti quanti. I know going to be wasting your time with big speeches. I just wanting to show you the whole big picture. Those Alpha Section are traitors, banditos, impostors, rascals, wooden nickels. Look at these photos that we have taken. The Alpha Sections are the accomplices of the Dom's forces. The Alpha Sections are the ones who've been kidnapping the Hillians and taking them to the Dom's. Once the victims arrive on the moon, they're drained of all their energy and die. Since the beginning, we've been manipulated and deceived. Stop listening to the lies that the Alpha Sections are telling you. Stop! Stop! The kids are still on the Dom's base. We have to go back for them. For the time being, we'd better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure engaged. Oh, good. Auto auto destruction. Uh, uh, auto self destruct. Whoops. Can't save anymore. Oh no. Let's get in, boys. Uh, double H. Please stop with your weird ass fetish with fucking Carlson and Peters. Hello. Okay, sure. That was a good blow up. And then Paige apparently has a fucking weird fetish with uh, Shield Con Carne. It's fine by me. It's good food. Tasty. Uh, you know, anyway, let's get the fuck out. Is the laser gonna show up again? Probably isn't. Um, don't worry about the timer, honestly. They, they give you more than enough time to get the fuck out. Because as you can see right now, even with that little happening back there. I still have like 50 seconds left. Then again, they do keep counting while the rest of while the rest of the people go goes in. Oh, I got an email. I can't read it yet though. Well, that sucks. Nice, we did it. I don't think the spider said that, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, good. We're being pulled back. Ah, oh, well. Let's read the email. Ah, fuck off, you fucking pieces of shit. 
doing whatever the hell comes up well for you. Fucking news networks, you fucking pieces of shit, I hate. I hate news networks. Alright, well anyway, uh, boss fight time again. Oh great, I got hit. Uh, yeah. I, I guess that is what happened. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is uh, the only boss fight that's left inside of any vehicle. After this, we'll um, really almost be done, honestly. Ooh. We gotta look out for those things. And the laser, of course, that I keep getting hit by, even though I'm not trying to. I, I have more than enough repairs, though, for... If uh, he wants to try anything. But this this form is pretty easy. Wow, look. What the hell were they expecting? Oh, I have to shoot. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense now why it would be like that. Ah, okay. Never mind. This phase wasn't easy at all. It's actually just the longest. <laughs> Ow, good. It's even being like a little bit of a. It's doing a little bit of a maneuver as well. Do I have to do any more lasers, or is that it? Alright, that's it. Nice. Oh, good. We're st we're still stuck though. I didn't want to do that. I meant to. Yeah. Okay. That I meant to do that. All right. Let's take care of these uh, of, of these things over here. Which is clearly what we need to do. Really? Come on, man. That ain't that tough? What blew up this time? Oh, okay, sure. You blew that up. No. Nice. I will need one more, and then we'll be done. You know, I will say one thing that this... Oh, great. The whole size thing is very well done. Because you can actually, like, see the difference in the size between, like, the spaceship and all that good stuff. Hey, did that just blow me up? Like, over? Up and over the fucking... the wall? That, that's... that's great. That is amazing. I, I've never had that happen to me before. Anyway. Time to, uh, go take care of the Alpha Section's general. Hopefully we can, uh, kill him up. Oh, no. We got actual men that we need to fight again. And this time, yeah, fighting is actually... This is the only time where fighting is necessary. All the other times, it's just been like a thing you could do. I do need to make sure that I uh, hit them though, okay. It's one dead, and that's... Ooh, I apologize for uh, for the beautiful frame rate. I can't really do anything about it. Nice. All right, there we go. Oh, great. Sound repetition. What was that sound repetition? Jade, please. Okay. <laughs> Nice edgy sentence to end it off with, dude. We have to get back to the base. All the prisoners are still in there. Sounds good to me. Let's get back to the ship, and this time, actually get back to it. All right. Well, we have a. Uh, no, not not anymore. Oh, you fuck! You can't. Oh, okay. Sure. I mean, I I can go through it. Oh, double H is dead. Double H is dead. <laughs> well, I suppose now is a better time than any to um, show off that they, they can indeed. Di Hold on a minute. Do I have to do it all over again now? I'm gonna. Do I? 
Alright, this time nobody died, so this time I can actually continue on. That's good. I, I don't know I don't know what happened there. I, for some reason the game was like, hey, do you want your buddy to die? You can't, you can't have that happen. And then uh, you have to do everything all over again. Yeah, that's basically what happens when your buddy dies. I suppose now is a better time than any <laughs> to show that off, because I won't be able to show it off anymore now. Alright. Let's get to the landing strip, even though there is a, uh, a barrier around it. I don't know what we're expecting. Oh, no! We're being attacked by men. With the great music. I'm gonna let you enjoy this for a bit. sudden there are ships that can actually come to the moon. I, this is one of the things that has always kind of irked me about this. It's like, hey, you know, could have given me those ships, you know, just one of them. One of them would be enough and I could have come here without having to do the whole beluga thing. But, you, you know, whatever. Triple elevator. <laughs> How's that even a common word? A triple elevator. How's that even happen? Or well, whatever. Final boss time, and this one is actually pretty tough. It's uh, this might take me a couple of tries. Well, it might not take me a couple of tries. It's more that it's it's just gonna be tough. I have K-bops, quite a bit of them even. Um, anyway, yeah, I I, I guess he, he doesn't really specifically say it, but it's very clear to me that Johnny is some part of the Doms, part Doms, part you, or something or other like that. All right. Ow! I forgot about that. But the best way to take him out while he's doing the laser thing is just to uh, shoot him. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion, anyway. He has a couple of phases. This one uh, is going to be a little bit of an annoying one. He's going to spawn pages. Page copies. Yeah, he actually, he actually does that. It's a little bit fucked up. Alright, come on, do it again. And that should be it. Alright, good. That's another one. Time for more doms. And time for actual fight now. Oh, great. Now I have no friends. Oh, 
Okay, this, this this is pretty tough. You have to keep an eye on. Oh, you have to keep an eye on where he comes because if you don't push the right direction, he immediately attacks. I believe it's up, and now it's gonna like come up. No. Fuck. I, what? Oh, okay. For some reason, that didn't work. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. This is this is this is very memorable. I, I remember this exactly the way it's, it's going. You... Motherfucker. Okay, left. Up. Right. Left. Up. Right. And then dodge out of the way. And hit to the left and then to the right. And then... Oh, fuck. The back one. I always forget that one. Left. Up. Right. Left, up, right, dodge out of the way, hello, um, that's weird, alright, gee, wow, what the, what? I, th that went a little bit weird for me, I only have one K-Bubs left, so that's two full life bars. This is the reason why I never give PA ones to for, uh, to the companions, because you never really need them to have more than one HP. It's your fault that we're suffering this day. It's very easy to uh, kill the double H clones, because it's really just avoid them once and then hit them once and then that's it. In fact, I don't think you even really need to. <laughs> you know, you, you can just hit like through the gut. For some reason, I, I hit like twice through the, the guardian thing of him, so... I don't know why that worked, but it, it did for some reason. Alright. Oh, this is the hard part. The reason this is hard is because uh, your controls are going to be reversed. Oh fuck, okay. I, 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 I don't know if I'm going to be able to concentrate much on this. Because, I, I mean, talk on this, because I, I, I'm going to have to concentrate, because fucking reversed controls? Not a thing I'm used to in games. Okay, let's go. The opposite, right? Left. Right, left, eventually, problem is, I don't remember when, okay, and eventually, the, the, it, the irritating part of this is that eventually the controls switch back to actual normal controls, that's the irritating part of it, I guess that's still, okay, there we go.
And there you have it. It's beyond good and evil. The ending's not that long, but it's, uh, you know, you don't need that. You don't really need a insanely long ending. It's, it kind of works, you know, considering that the game itself isn't really that long, and the ending itself isn't that long, so it it does what it's supposed to do. It leaves a couple of things un, uh, unanswered, you know, like, actually, what is Jade? Because you can make your speculations, like, she's part Dom's, part human, she's probably something that her parents found or something or another, and then, I don't know, something. Maybe one of her parents is a Dom, so who knows? I wouldn't know. Nobody knows. Except, I guess, Michael Ansel. Michael Ansel, or however how you pronounce his name, but uh, I believe he is actually directing the second game, so that's a good thing for me already. Because that means he does actually know the fucking story, and he knows how to continue, or lead up to this one. Because you really can go either way, when you look at it this way. You can either go for a sequel and explain more about her, and do more with her Dom's powers and all that. And also space exploration, that could also still be in there. Just to, like, take care of all the other Doms, because there's probably more Doms out there, somewhere or another. You can also go into a prequel and just explain, like, Jay's origins and all that, and maybe about her parents and everything about that, because it is... The prequel is pretty much Beyond Good and Evil 2, and it is the, um, I believe, a generation before Jade. And it's in System 3 instead of System 4, so... It's probably gonna be about how they... How they got here. Or, well, probably whatever the hell in... System 3 happened, and then the ending is probably going to be linking... The game with this one. Although I imagine there's probably gonna be quite a bit of things linking... The second one with this one as well, anyway. It's... I'm kind of actually really glad... That the second one is, is actually, like, being made now, and is, is announced now, because... It gives me quite a bit to talk about. They gave me quite a bit to talk about in the last couple of episodes. Um, in here, you can also, if you uh, take a look at like pictures and stuff that comes around and all that, you can see um, it, they kind of explain like what happened after, after the fact. Because you don't really get that in a cutscene. You don't really need to either. They sh they kind of show it just in like photos and all that, and like what happened with the family and all that. So, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's a very nice ending and credit sequence, I think. It's a little nice scenery as well to look at. So, it's, it's, it's definitely one of, my, uh, one of my favorite endings to... Uh, well, one of my favorite games as well. It's probably in my top 10. Maybe top 5, even. I really, I really love this game. It, it's really one of the best. It, it's short, concise, but it, everything just works so perfectly together. The music is phenomenal. It's, it's very fitting for the entire theme of the game. It, it, there's never really a song where I'm just like, eh, this one isn't that good. It, it, every song is pretty great. There's only a couple of areas in the game where I'm kind of reluctant to go into again, but it's still not something that I'm like, ugh, goddammit, I have to do that thing again, like how it is with like the Forsaken Fortress and Wind Waker for me. The only place that even comes sort of close to it is the... Um, is the beginning of the slaughterhouse, and even that is still fun. It it's just a little bit tedious sometimes, and that's really all. Apart from that, this this game really for me is just I wouldn't say perfect, but it's definitely great. It's definitely amazing all the way through it. It's, there's never really a dull moment in the game either, but it's purely because they made it so streamlined and so well concisely made and all that. I think that's really all I want to say about the game, though. I suppose. If I had to give it a number, I'd probably nine and a half or something like that. Nine to nine and a half. Thank you, all those N Dutch voices. Thank you very much. You were all great. The English voices were also pretty great, though. I'll, I'll give it that. The English voices were pretty good. Anyway, now we uh, now we get to enjoy some pictures and see what happened after the fact. So this is a nice little picture of the moon. It's a picture of Woof and some other thing in the background. I can't really tell what that is. Or whatever. This is the whole family. Even Double H is part of the family now. As a bug. That Paige and Double H are for some reason chasing after... Oh, they're chasing after Woof because he's trying to eat the bug. And now someone is trying to hit Double H with a bat. What happened? I want a sequel on that. I want a sequel on that. He killed Woof. 
This is the rogue, the, the rogue goat. Oh, and now it's just really shittily shot photographs. I guess the kids took pictures of those. Oh, look at that. That's a nice picture. Jade and Paige, forever, together, and now the page is alive again. Because Shawnee has magical d Dom's powers, I guess. Thank you, all the all the people that made this. It's, it's, it was a great game. I enjoyed Let's Playing this game a lot. You understand now why people wanted a sequel instead of a prequel? Do you understand now? That's the biggest reason why people wanted a sequel instead of a prequel, because Paige gets fucking infected by Doms. And if you remember, when Double H was infected by the Doms, he was almost dying. And Nino said that was that was their last anti-venom for that. So uh yeah, this is why people want a sequel. It's also right on the hand that Jade was holding when she revived Paige, so that also kind of incites that Jade is part Doms. It's very heavily implied that she's part Doms. Especially because she, they keep calling her Shawnee Doms. So that, you know, that's also very, uh, very telling of, of what, what she actually is. But anyway, that's uh, really all that I wanted to show of Beyond Good and Evil. That's well, really all that you can show of Beyond Good and Evil. I suppose I did miss some end discs showing them, but it's uh, really there's nothing much more to show in them. And this is really all. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. And next time, next time, we're gonna go to a little bit more of a flat world, to a little bit more of a uh, colorful, happy. Fun time flat world. So see you guys for that one.